So in this series of videos, we are speaking about comprehensive implant treatment planning in terms of diagnosis, how do we diagnose whether to do a comprehensive full arch plan and what are the conditions that are required for extraction of tooth which we have seen in our previous videos. How do we plan for the actual surgery using CBCT scan also we looked in the previous videos. So in this particular uh, uh, video, we will look into it, the actual implant surgical aspect, how do we do the surgery, whether grafting is required not, uh, uh, or not, how do we consider that, what are the additional uh, precautions that we need to take while doing grafting, what about the abutments, what, what are abutments and how do we connect these abutments to the implant, all these is what that we look in this particular video. Hello uh, all, this is Dr. Arun from Pearls Industry. Running a dental centers at Chennai Raja and Amlai Puram since year 2001. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to our channel. We've got a whole bunch of videos on dental health and dental awareness coming out. So first, let's look at this x-ray. So this is the particular x-ray that we have been speaking in the previous video, where patient are originally come and asked only for the replacement of the posterior teeth. We discussed in detail what was the remaining bone here, what is the importance of to preserve those bones, that requirement to remove those teeth and do a full arch reconstruction is what that we discussed in a previous video. We also went ahead and discussed in detail the importance of CBCT scan and how do we actually plan for the implants. So once and also we discussed about whether how the surgery can be done using sedation. So now if you look at this particular video, so this is on the day of surgery, how we have placed the implant. So we have, we have extracted the tooth. We have, after extraction of the tooth, we have used a guide because I said that we are doing a guided surgery here. We did the CVCT planning and using the CVCT, we do what is called a guided surgery here. So we remove the teeth, we place the surgical guide in the patient's mouth. Once it places the surgical guide in the patient's mouth, we level the remaining uh, bone so that all the implants can be placed at the same level. If you look at our x-rays, all the implants are being placed at the same level. So that's what we do. At the, first we do that. Next is subsequently we use a guide to actually place that implant using completely guided. That's the second part. So once, we, so this makes our, one, the surgery very precise. It reduces the time that is, that is required and also it improves the outcome. Also, because it's a full large thing, we have already planned where the patient's final tooth is going to be. For the patient's planned final tooth, we have determined where those implants will be and then plan the guide based on that. So if you look at it, since we have planned the final tooth, we have placed the implants based on the, on the actual uh, plan that we have done to get the teeth. So once we have done it, we do what are called abutments, which are typically called multi-unit abutments. So these multi-unit abutments are, or they are called MUA or they are called tapered abutments. So these abutments go and sit on the implants. The advantage of these abutments is during the surgery itself we place these abutments and subsequently any measurement that we need to take is all done at the level of abutment. It means that uh, the, there, is, there is not much of discomfort to the patient during taking measurements, that's one. Two is, because, at, because it's at the level of abutments, we can always plan an immediate provisional or an immediate temporary for the patient and each time we have to make a measurement or do the final check-in, the patient can, interveningly, the patient can always wear something provisional in between the treatment or during the course of treatment also. So that's the advantage of multi-unit abutments. So how do we actually design the processes? What is the kind of processes? We look into the subsequent video. Hope you like this video. If there are any questions, please do ask in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Dr. Arun from Pearls Industry. Bye bye and thank you.